Welcome to this Excel VBA for Beginners video series. I'm Chris from Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions and we are looking at a task that lots of people are trying to get done out there. I receive lots of emails about this, which is how to separate worksheets in a workbook into individual files, save those files, and then maybe to send them off uh, to different people, something like that. As I said, this is a really common task. In this video series, we're going to look at how to do it. And along the way, we're going to improve uh, those coding skills. We're going to look at recording code in Excel, manipulating code to get it working for you. We're going to use a loop in this task. We're also going to use VBA variables. So along the way, we're going to improve those coding skills as well. So let's get into the download file. The download file is available on the website and the link is in the description below this video. Viewers of the channel might be familiar with this file. We have a video series which is called Excel VBA for Post Beginners, uh, which you, I'll put a link for that as well in the video description. In that video series, we started with a database, which we can see on the first sheet. And we looked at taking each entry in the database and making it into a separate report. So we can see each entry has a separate worksheet in the file. So that's pretty cool. We got that done with the click of a button. We wanna take that a step further. A step further in this video series. We want to take each of these reports which are on individual worksheets and separate them into separate files, save those files and then probably do something with those files as well. Though we're not going to go too far uh, in this video series. So how are we going to get started with this? Well we're going to use an approach that we use a lot uh, on the channel. I think it's really one of the most important Excel VBA skills which is recording code using the macro recorder, doing something, recording the code, then reviewing the code, manipulating it, getting, work, getting it working uh, for you. I'm always talking about how important this is. That's because it's really important. If you can do this, there's really no limit to what you can get done in Excel, recording the code and manipulating it. So how do we record the code? Developer tab, click on the developer tab. If you can't see the developer tab, go to Google, Google uh, Excel VBA developer tab, you'll find out how to make it visible. We're going to click on record macro and Excel immediately asks for a name of the macro saying what do you want to call this little computer program that we're about to make. Well let's give it an informative name, an informative name. So the name of the macro should give us an idea what the macro does later on when we have lots of routines in the file that's going to help us understand what's going on. So I've said save separate, you can put something appropriate in there and then hit OK. And you'll notice now, if we go back to the developer tab, it now says stop recording here. So Excel is recording the code. So now we've got the code recording. We want to do what we want to do very simply. In this case, we want to take uh, one of these sheets. So I'm going to go to the first report sheet. Just click on the, on the sheet tab out, outside of your screenshot there. So the first employee report, we want to take this report, save it to a separate file. How do we do that? At the bottom on the sheet tab outside of your screenshot at the bottom, right click and then move or copy. We're going to click create a copy. We want to copy this sheet, uh, but we don't want to copy it into the same file. We want to copy it into a new file. So we're going to go up here and click new book. Then we hit OK. And we can see that we're in a new file now. We can tell from the name of the file at the top, Excel has created a new file and it's got exactly what we want in. So this is exactly what you might have been doing manually, copying out these, these, these sheets. That's going to take a lot of time. What else do we want to do? Well, we'd like to save the file, but I'm just going to close the file um, outside of your screenshot, hit the cross in the top right corner. Then Excel is going to ask us if we want to save changes. So we're going to save and close going to click save here and then yeah let's just save it into here which is our default save location. So we're just going to click save and the file's closed now. So that's effectively what we're trying to do. Take the file, copy it to a, to a new file, save that file. We've got to understand a few things though. For example, where did that file go? Where was it saved? Well, it's likely to be saved in your default save location. If you don't tell Excel where to save it, likely to be saved in your default save location. If you go to options and then go to save, you'll have a default save location here. This is usually where Excel will save the files if you don't tell Excel to save the files anywhere specific. I can go to that location in, in Windows Explorer 
and I can see this is the file I've just created, book three. This is the file, the original file, the title of the original file. This is the file uh, I've just created. So we've managed uh, to do what we're trying to do. And I've made a bit of a schoolboy error though, which is I haven't stopped the macro recorder. Okay, so we would have recorded a bit too much code there, but we should be able to delete it. Shouldn't be a big problem. So I've stopped the macro recording. So now we're gonna have some code for what we've just done, which is exactly what we're looking for. Where is that code gonna be? Well, if you go to the Visual Basic Editor, Developer tab, Visual Basic, on Windows Alt F11, shortcut, we can see we're in the Visual Basic Editor now. Go to the top of this Project Explorer area. And usually when you record some new code, Excel will create a new module. So I'm just gonna go into module two here. And this is the code that was recorded. You see, it's not too much code. It seems to be a manageable amount of code. How do we know it's the code we just recorded? Well, I can see from the name of the macro here, save separate because I gave it an informative name. It helped me to identify uh, the routines. So that's a helpful thing to do. First thing I'm gonna clean, cl clear out or clean out these annotations uh, in green. So anything in green, the annotations, Excel is going to ignore anyway. Then I'm gonna correct the indentation here. So shift tab uh, will remove the indentation if you like. And then we've got to examine the code. We've got to go through the code, try to understand what's going on and establish what do we want to get rid of? What might be useful for us? What do we want to keep? So range D7 select, that's just selecting a cell. Is that gonna be necessary for the process? You know, probably not. So we can just delete that line of code. And equally, you know, selecting sheets, you know, we're not too interested, doesn't sound too exciting. So where we're selecting sheets, that's, that was when I was clicking around at the beginning. You know, we can clear that out as well. Now it gets uh, more interesting for us because we've got uh, this line of code, sheets co601.copy. So what's that co601? Well, that's the first employee uh, sheet. So this is interesting to us. This is copying the employee sheet. This is really one of the building blocks of what we're trying to do. So we're gonna retain that. This could be useful for us. And then what's this all about? Well, save as, so this seems to be to do with saving. And then we've got a file name. So that must be the code for saving the file. Let's retain that, that's useful to us as well. And then we've got uh, active window.close. So that seems to be do, to do with say, uh, closing the file, which we want to do. You know, We don't want to have 60 or 70 files open. It would be ideal if the file's saved and close. So we've got a line of code for copying um, the worksheet to another workbook, a line of code for saving, a line of code for closing. So this seems to be you know, exactly uh, what we're looking for, really. Okay, that's as far as we're gonna go in this video, um, but a really important skill we've covered there, which is recording code and then looking through it, manipulating it. If you can learn this skill, I call it a meta skill because it's a skill that will allow you to learn other skills, you can use this skill using the macro recorder to help you learn lots of different things uh, in Excel VBA. So that's as far as we're going to go in this video. In the next video, we're going to look at running this code, tuning it up, getting it working for us so we can get this task done. I'll see you in the next video.